to venture up into the loft or search through those cupboards and bring out your Christmas decorations. If you are looking to change up your home's festive look, then Kelly Hoppen is here now with her top interior trends for this year. What's your trend in your house? Well, the thing is, we all have so many decorations and I've got like a baseline of decorations, but every year I'll sort of add something to it. But I love all the matte decorations and the slightly frosted ones, but it is predominantly neutral. But now that I have a grandson, I add all the kind of vintage pieces in. But I love tinsel. Yes, you yeah. do. I, know. I, know. I Which... love Christmas. I absolutely love Christmas. But I mean, this one for me is just beautiful because it's so neutral. And I think what I love about it is the fact that you've got all of these beautiful paper decorations, mm, so which gorgeous. sort of remind me of when I was little. Um, and then I love the, you know, using pussy willows so that you can actually make your tree bigger. So say you've got a smaller tree and you want to make it bigger, you can add branches into it. So you could pretty much put anything on a tree. Can I ask you then, yeah. how many baubles is the right amount? Because I get a bit carried away and I just okay. keep plonking them so on. So when you... Decorate a tree, start at the bottom and go for the biggest balls that you've got at the bottom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <all right>. um, <laughs> and then you kind of go up and up and up, going smaller. Then you step back and look at it and it should all be symmetrical. Then you get the little ones to kind of add in. If you put too many balls on a tree, it kind of just looks full. Right. So it kind of needs to breathe a bit. The lights are the most important and they're the most difficult. Mm. So you've got to get those on first so that they're balanced. And then when you have a ball which is shiny, put the light on it because mm. ah. it will actually illuminate it. That's my clever. trick, for, yes. I, it's always my job to put the lights on the tree. Uh, my, my trick is you put the, put the lights on and then you stand back and you squint. Quint. And you squint really, really tight so yeah. you can see if there's any gaps on the tree. I squint that's anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so that's very beautiful. So, so that's, that's your beautiful. white and gold look. But it's not is... expensive. It looks, it looks a bit no, expensive. No, it's not expensive. And it, you can get all of this on the high street. And all of this stuff here, like the paper... You could, for me, also balance the room out. So have some fairy lights somewhere else, wrap it around something you have existing. So you get that balance of the lighting. Really nice. All right, so then, then we're going to move on to sort of neutrals. So, yeah, I mean, this one's kind of more rustic. And what I love is some of the tin pieces. So say you've got some of these colours already, you can go and add some bits to it. Um, it's just more neutral. It just depends on what you want in your home. But today, again, I've added in some of the paper, these are amazing. Look at this. They're, are they pine cones? Yes, they're fairy lights, and the light goes in this. So that sort of sits in the tree, so it doesn't look so horrible. Oh, you know, I see, the like the, the little bits, yeah. you can't see it. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So, you know, again, you can have things like this, like your pine cones, which you can just get from a garden centre. You can or spray them yourself. or find yourself. But I love this kind of look because both of these are fake trees, by the way. Mm -hmm. Um, and I like the balance of it. And again, something like this, you know, you could put up on the wall or you could put it on your table. Another trick, whatever your tree is, if it's in where you're eating, try and balance the colours out so that you have the, the same kind of look. Right, I see. They're very good fake trees, by the way, aren't, aren't they? they? I would have thought that was a real tree, I would have thought it was. Yeah. yeah. I mean, today the fake trees are amazing. I mean, this one is real and it's already dropping. So. Yeah. For me, I'm going to put the tree up this weekend. I know it's early, but I like Christmas from now until the week after Christmas, then I get a bit bored with it. And so it's nice to have that, you know, nice long run yeah. so that it all looks beautiful. So and Go on. No, I was going to say, you know, if you've got vessels, these kind of dried flowers you can use throughout the year, but again, you could put lights on them, but just take things off that you've got at home and kind of redo it and... It's normally less is more. I'm like more is more. Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. you know, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and so this one is a much more sort of vintage feel. I love this. So again, these kind of frosted balls are more vintage looking yeah. if you want a proper vintage tree. And then all of these are just so glorious. But you can just quickly run over here, add these onto here. Yeah. You know, which looks pretty or onto that. And again, if you're going to use tinsel, which I love, if you're going to go for red, go for purple. Mm -hmm. Like, do something that's a bit odd, but don't have three colours of tinsel. I love the car with the little... I know, they're so this gorgeous. Thing. What do you do when your kids want to get involved with decorating the tree? Because there's this idyllic Nothing thing yeah. where you go, we're going to decorate the tree, this is going to be lovely, have a go, and then they put baubles where you just don't want it's them. It's fine. Or they Let want them to put the ones they've made at school put, <laughs> on the tree. Put and you're the like, bases oh, up and then go. give them them and do it. And by the time they've gone to bed, balance 
balance them out. What, take them off? T no, no, don't take them <laughs> off. Like, balance them out or just yeah. let them do the bits. So just make it a bit neater or give them their own tree. Just a little baby one. Yeah. Yeah, that might be But, easier. you know, it's, for, it's Christmas is for kids. This yeah. smell is no, lovely oh, here. No, don't drink that. Oh, no, no, I'm oh. smelling it. <laughs> what have you got there? It's it called, like I don't, I've not seen it before, but it's called Natal. Um, oh, yeah. Um, and this is amazing. It smells, smell these, that. These oh. tiny little baubles oh, Christmas yeah. really Christmas. that you can put on your place settings or on the tree and then you can spray the Christmas spray. So you get that lovely smell. Spray sometimes everywhere. With a, with a fake tree, you miss that but smell. But now you can get all the sprays and you can spray at the tree and, and you know, all the pine cones you yeah. can spray and they impregnate into it. So you can still have that smell. There's an incense, I think, called Noel, of quite obviously. Yeah, but, there's uh, loads. But that's lovely. You light that and that's mm. sort of lovely oh, sort of incense -y smoke. Well, thank, thank you. It's Beautiful. We'll put the tree up. We'll see you soon. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Right, for details of all of today's products as well as more suggestions, they're on our This Morning app. Just head to Shop the Show.